Okay, this is about limiting coffee stall in espresso coffee machines. A simple way to lower your LDL cholesterol. Old knowledge. In the 80s and 90s the effects of coffee on human health has been researched extensively. One of the discoveries was the effect of two D-terpenes called cafestol and caweol on bad LDL cholesterol. Caweol proved to have very little effect but cafestol had a very strong effect. Arabica coffee contains twice the level of cafestol than Robusta. Paper filter or not? That's the point. That's the question. Another early finding was that all coffee brewing methods where coffee was filtered through paper showed low cafestol levels. Brewing methods that do not use a paper filter and with a long extraction time like Turkish coffee, French press method and similar like cooking, boiling coffee show much higher levels of cafestol 6 to 12 milligrams per cup than filtered coffee like in the coffee you get when using pads the pour over method then the levels uh, vary between 0 0.2 and 0 0.6 milligram per cup. Here the methods with high levels of cafestol and here methods that use a paper filter with low levels. Okay, I changed uh, the backlight. Um, what about espresso machines and the Italian mocha pot. What are the cafestol levels over there? Both the mocha pot and espresso machine show a considerably shorter extraction time, exposure if you like, than French press or Turkish method. This shows clearly in the cafestol concentration. Here you have the cafestol concentrations of filtered coffee, so pour over, instant coffee. Here the levels of mocha and espresso, which are very close together too. And then the, the um, considerably higher levels of French press, Turkish and boiled coffee, where boiled and Turkish coffee have very high levels of cafestol. Is it all bad? Like many components in coffee, tea, wine, nuts, etc., etc., bad components may also be good for other organs or upcoming illnesses. It has been claimed that cafestol and caweol have anti-carcinogenic F effects. Epidemiological studies have found that coffee consum consumption reduces the risk of cancers such as colorectal cancers. So if you have no cholesterol problem, the solution I will suggest later to reduce cafestol in espresso and mocha pot coffee is maybe superfluous. How I reduced my bad cholesterol. Four or five years ago I found myself back in an ambulance due to a heart problem. Imme immediately after that day I stopped eating cheese and butter because both contain 30 to 100 percent of animal fats. I completely stopped eating meat 
except low fat chicken breast once approximately every two weeks. I reduced my milk consumption to and uh, limited to uh, two cappuccinos a, a day, 180 milliliters. Instead of meat, I eat fish two times a week uh, and for the rest mushrooms and vegetarian meat and of course a lot of v uh, vegetables and fruit. Instead of cow yog yogurt, so animal yogurt, animal milk yogurt, I now use soya based yogurts, for instance when I eat Chrisley. Instead of normal sugar I now use a sweetener that prevents the conversion of calorie rich sugar to cholesterol bad body fat. I lost, I lost about 4 kilos, 5 kilos of weight also because of this intervention. This solved my cholesterol problem and greatly reduced my heart problem, which is premature ventricular extra systoles. I had a very irregular heartbeats and a very low heart rate. Okay, that was four years ago. But half a year ago, I discovered that cafestol in coffee uh, has a bad effect on cholesterol too. Since my cholesterol is okay now, but you know, could be better, uh, I did some research. To limit my bad cholesterol further, I now use a paper filter in my espresso machine and mocha pot and the mocha pot I use during holidays. I drink two cappuccinos a day. Since filter paper for the pour over coffee has proven to soap cafestol and cowayol, I started making use of existing Melita filters. How can you make those filters yourselves? First you need to measure the diameter of the sieves of your porter filter. Here are the sieves, the bottom side of the sieves. This is for two cups, this is for one cup and this was the diameter of the perforated part and uh, it's better to take it a little a few millimeters more than than less because then it will start leaking at the sides uh, uh, and uh, but when the paper is wet it will ply itself uh, easily in the shape of the sieve. I have a Lelite PL41 EM espresso machine. The dimensions of your sieves may be different so don't count that these diameters are exactly uh, 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 count for your machine also. Um, then you buy the largest, this is not the largest, buy the largest size of pour over coffee filters that you can find in your supply shop. shop. Then there are two possibilities or you contact somebody that makes leather bags and ask him or her to punch round filters of the sizes you need. That is for one time or maybe if it's your friend maybe several times uh, an efficient method and you can ask uh, uh, to, to make hundreds uh, if you like. Uh, so for a whole for a whole year or you buy or make a punch a hollow punch of the correct diameter and punch out the filters yourselves that's what I do because I happened to have already a few of these large size punch tools made myself already 40 years ago um, and uh, those uh, those were 
you know, almost uh, perfect for the filters I needed. So since then, this is this was the first time I did that. Uh, now I I make a stack of about ten filters and then punch out twenty round filters at the same time. Uh, you can also buy punches on Amazon. I have uh, done some research for you and uh, this uh, seems to be very uh, cheap and efficient uh, uh, to use because they are already sharpened and the sharpening, you know, getting a tube of the right diameter is not so difficult, but getting them sharpened uh, uh, all around ir irregular irregular is not so easy on a lathe uh, you could do that but with a with a, a grinding tool that's that's quite difficult um, you can press those rings through a stack of paper and probably uh, uh, especially if you use a wooden block on top you can hammer it also um, okay if you make a punch yourself, take care that it is thin walled. The thinner, the easier it will cut, but it, if it's too thin, then it will may bend. So a, a wall, this is stainless steel tubes, a wall of one and a half to two millimeters is about uh, 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 perfect. One fifteenth of an inch or so. What I said already, you may stack stack 10 filters uh, 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 on top of each other and then punch and you have 20 separate filters. Uh, but for optim how to use? For optimal sorption I use two filters for one preparation. So two filters for one cup of coffee. To stick the filters in place, it's the easiest to pre-wet the sieve with a few droplets of water. Then fill the porter filter sieve with ground coffee, like you do every day, and then use the same grinder and pressure settings as normal. There is no difference in resistance and uh, uh, no uh, uh, increase of pressure uh, you you won't f uh, 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 notice any difference and I didn't notice any difference in taste and that's not astonishing because these are good quality filters after having made your coffee shake out the coffee together with the paper very easy Then my mocha pot for my holidays when I'm on the move. Um, there are two sieves in the mocha pot. There is a sieve on which you, you pour the ground coffee. That's this sieve. But the paper should be put over there because the coffee is pushed upward. Um, to put it in place, you can wet the filter, the paper, and then you can push it, lay it down, and uh, and uh, uh, put it uh, in such a way uh, between the rubber gasket that it is not covering the gasket because that uh, will prevent a leakage. Yeah, then you will not get sufficient pressure. Good. Next, Nespresso machines. There is paper in an Nespresso capsule. I cut open, I, I already knew that, but especially for this video I cut one open. But this paper uh, will not retain any cafestol as it is at the water entrance side of the capsule. And the paper is also perforated. You see these holes over there? So the paper is perforated and it would 
if there would be coffee stall in in your water tank then maybe the paper would take some some out but the 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 water this is the flow direction of water through an espresso machine it enters the, the capsule over here and it gets out over there but here there is no filter no paper filter so you will get coffee stall in your Nespresso coffee can you do something with full automatic espresso machines you have no possibility to put a paper filter in the porta filter as it is not accept, uh, accessible for full automatics and Nespresso machines you may consider putting a tiny funnel filter this is the smallest Melita uh, uh, funnel filter that you can get over here uh, you put it in a plastic uh, holder and you can put that on your cup the cup in which you want to have your coffee and uh, that will filter out the coffee stall okay not very charming but it will work and that's it so enjoy your coffee low in cafe stall thanks for watching and uh, good health <laughs>